Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do part three of the page I'm working on in the Forest Girl coloring book. We're working on this page here. Hopefully we'll get it done today. Get some stuff out of the way so I can get it up a little bit higher. We're going to be working on the bottom of the page. <laughs> we'll also do the mirror and um, I'm hoping to get the background done too, but we're going to start to see how far we get down here at the bottom of the page. So I will... Um, get the camera down here so we can do work on the rug and the little cushion he's sitting on this little piece of metal or whatever you want to call whatever the wood frame of this mirror is down here at the bottom and then we also have to color these uh, little guys in on the other page they're just done in like brown ink so I think I'll just um, find a brown Tombow pen and use the bullet tip on it and just trace around those after I get it inked up because I'm going to do an inking on the background. So let's get you down and start to work. Okay, I thought I'd bring down, um, let me scoot this a little bit, some colors that are in her skirt down into this cushion. So we used like a pink in here, brown in here, when you name it we used it in here. Anyway, so I don't know if you can tell the pink in there but I mean if I put the pencil down you can. So we're going to make uh, this little cushion here pink. So we're going to start off with the dark flesh and uh, get some shadowing going down here. I'm probably just going to use uh, the side of the pencil so I gotta wear it down a little bit just so I have a, a flatter edge on there. I don't know if you can see that but instead of it being a round edge, I flattened that little piece. And I'm going to use that just to rub it in the pages here and into the page in the darkest spots. Well, they've already put the shadows in here for you. So all you have to do is kind of follow them. Is kind of the uh, main crease that goes around this way and then all this is shadowed If I go out of line, I can just sharp or erase that. Do want it nicely darkened under here. I'm going to bring a little brown into this too, so it doesn't look just like a big pink fluff. Although that would be cute. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring in raw umber. We can go on the puppy here a little bit because it's also his shadow. Get a little piece of paper here just to stick under this page so we can go down here and not worry about the page that follows it.
Okay, we're bring in a little cinnamon. Sharpen that. Use the side of it also and just go around and add some of that in. It'll help bring the brown into the pink without it looking so sharp. I'll bring a sticky note in here just apply it to that line so I can bring the pencil out into that and keep that line where it's supposed to be. Okay, we can bring in a little bit of Van Dyke Brown to deepen the shadow here. <laughs> Getting a line from the other paper here. Let's get that moved so we don't have that line appearing. Bring back in the cinnamon. And a little of the light flash. Okay, then we're going to bring in the uh, darker brown and we're going to kind of um, darken some of these little lines here. They're there, all you have to do is color them in.
This is the um, Van Dyke Brown. Some of the original dark flesh. Oh, dark flesh, sorry. I'm losing my voice here for some reason. Which is kind of dark in those areas too. Give them like a little shadow, go right over the item color. I'm going to bring in a little ivory and just lighten some areas and blur those lines a little bit. Okay, and there's our little cushion. All right, um, rug. I'm gonna do it in green and beige. So we're just gonna take our uh, earth green and put it down here. It's the same way we did. Uh, I gotta get that little piece of paper back the um, uh, other color I'm using the side of the pencil lid. This is a rug and the page kind of gives you that textured look which I like so we're going to just kind of dark it under the cushion darken it up underneath our little squirrel water here or a bottle under her feet just putting a little more pressure on there I'm gonna leave it a solid green darken it here I'm going to darken this line here. Hmm. Nice loud helicopter. Throw some ivory in there. I'm 
We're going to bring the ivory out. take a little bit of the raw umber go around the edge here bring it into the green gonna draw a little line right through that I don't know if that should go up that high it probably goes there Didn't think about that one then add it in the green down here a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. Turn the book and go down that line sideways here. <laughs> texture in that. The uh, page on the other side, they did a whole bunch of um, fancy stuff on the rug. And, well, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Do a little shadow underneath this little cushion too, so we're going to add that there. little brown in this mirror so we're just gonna go up nice darker line on some of that and then I think on this side we'll just make a thin line Wrong spot, but hmm, right about there. Yep, okay, we're gonna erase that one line. Okay, get that line coming down, and it goes down here, and it attaches to this little piece of wood that goes across here. So, just a little touch because the um, bottle should be transparent. I'm going to add a little of the ochre, uh, raw umber, 
in here too. Down in here. There's a little bit of a gray sock in here, so we're just going to put some gray down there. And the little squirrel's covering up the other one, so it doesn't matter. A little ivory. I'm going to bring a stamp in and then I'll do the little stamp on that so we're not going to mess with that too much. We will take a brown pencil, uh, I think in Bister, we'll make a nice sharp point. Um, I'll only pick Bister because it's like my longest pencil and it's going to make it a little easier for me to do this. We're going to go over the um, little stars here little circles, whatever they are. Some of them are circles, some of them are X's, some of them are stars. I thought that I could do it better with the pencil only because as I thought about it, the um, Tombow markers are water based and if I use Distress Ink, they'll just blur together use the pencil and it will just stay the same color. Let me darken it. These are tiny. And just keep going all the way across. few more in here you can. They're light enough that can make it a little bigger here. Put one up here. There we go. Okay. Now I have to get the camera up, so hold on. Okay. I haven't used Distress Ink on this paper before, so this will be a new part for me. We are going to um, block off the line here with sticky notes. It doesn't go all the way around, so... And I could make a frame all the way around. I don't think I'm going to do the whole top. I don't know, maybe I will. It all depends on how far I want to go while I'm doing this. Sometimes I go crazy and sometimes I don't. <laughs> but at least we have that marked off. It's a little crooked, but we can go in with them. Um, Pencil. We're going to use these two colors because these two colors will go really nice with whatever we have down here. We're going to also put some of that in the mirror because it's going to reflect what is going on on the outside. So we're going to start off with a little bit of the um, Victorian velvet and see how this works. Um, this is already preloaded. Uh, pad here so I just fill it up with the ink and oh you know what I didn't do his scarf <laughs> it's gonna be pink 
and then I'll shadow it in with something else. Go up that way. Can come into the mirror. You don't have to be too perfect on the edge there. Yep. There's a reason we put that down there so it would stick. So we can come in and not worry about it. Piece of paper here too. Be a good idea. Got a little thick there. That's okay. I'll just put another color over it. The uh, other color will help blend it. They did a watercolor background on the other one, but uh, no matter how hard I try, me and watercolors do not get along. So we're going to skip that. We'll put a little of that pink in here too. And down here at the bottom. Kind of going right over that pencil and it'll give it a pink hue in here. Kind of blend everything together. Okay. Now we're going to get the uh, gathered twigs. It's, um, sorry, one of these months this thumb will go back to normal. Load that up, and we're going to just darken some areas here. Bring that up, get a nice shadow there, put a little in the bottle because it'll reflect there too. Bring it right down the blanket or the um, rug. Bring it right in. Splotchy. Try not to be perfect on this. One. Perfection in Distress Ink. Nah. It's called Distress for a reason. It's not supposed to be perfect. <laughs> Can you see the top of the page up here? Just add that in. This one does not want to sit here. Okay, before we get too far, I'm going to get some water and see if this will lift a little of this off and kind of give you that water color effect. I will have to find a different washcloth. <laughs> that one's got blue all over it. Nope, don't fall. It, <laughs> it fell. 
<laughs> Let's see. Watercolor type paper, so it should lift that right up. That'll look good. Okay. Kind of give it the um, watercolor effect I'm after without using watercolor. Okay. Just keep going up and spraying it with the water. let that dry and then I'm gonna put a little more shading in here maybe a little more pink in here but I can't do it when it's wet so I'll be back in a minute okay I'm gonna add a little more of the um, pink in here just to brighten it up Oops, you mix the color up. <laughs> Paper back in there. Okay, we're going to pounce in some of these dots. This is the itty bitty, oh, whatever it is called, itty bitty background stamp from Stampin' Up. It's the smallest one and it does little dots. And add them up here into these dots. Just to ground them a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to go down in here and put it in the rug. In the chair. We can add a little in her skirt, both sides. Don't forget she has a reflection. This is just a little bit. And then we're just going to add some in the mirror. Trying to get some right there. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. Add a little puppy. Little guy here. There we go. Oops. 
so if you want to add in a little extra shading you can Here we're going to take a white pen and make sure that the mirror lines are no longer gray. sure it looks like a mirror. Okay, when I add the lines over here, we want to make sure our frame still looks like a frame. So we can darken that up a bit. Then we're going to take somewhere on this desk is a gray pencil and put a shadow back here. I can do that with a pen. Hold on. Okay, Tombow Pen N95, and I'm just going to bring down a shadow. there. <coughs> I think I can rub a little bit of this and get a colorless blender. Let's see if we can't lighten it on the way out. <laughs> Just put your hand right in it. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Shadow up the puppy. We're going to do something with his little collar, too. <laughs> little Nick thing here. So, Derek Flesh. Holbein White here. Cinnamon. get a black if I find it here and darken up his ears a touch.
darken up his shadow here. Darkening up his tail, too. Just adding a little bit of darkness here so it separates everything. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess it's a white area, but why would it be white? It could be pink. Time to go with the wall. <laughs> Put that paper back underneath here, just so I can get that a little darker. There's a little pink in there too. And there we go. I'm going to call that done. Really crazy about the how gray I got that. It should have been a little less <laughs> noticeable. Just throw some pink on it. Probably turn it purple, but go. Okay, what I'll do is take a picture and post it at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.